This is Dr. Scott Geller, eye floater laser specialist out of Fort Myers, Florida. We've been doing this for well over 25 years with 20,000 laser sessions, the largest continuous clinical series worldwide. I'm going to discuss an interesting case here. Uh, this patient had a hyaloid membrane. It's a little different than the average floater. Uh, initially, we always tell the patient that they have uh, a problem. This patient had a very small cataract, but if you look into the eye, and we're using a CGV contact glass from uh, Lazog and using the Lazog Microruptor Laser, which is the very best on the market, made in Switzerland. Uh, there's very few of us uh, who practice this procedure worldwide who actually have this unit and I find it the best. I've tried them all. Uh, the strategy here is something that you develop while you're looking at the opacity. I'm looking at the uh, Weiss ring uh, hy hyaloid opacity here and, and the thickened hyaloid membrane from a posterior vitreous detachment. Our strategy is to cut the Weiss ring away from the hyaloid, creating a window. The window will retract uh, both laterally and medially, allowing the patient to see clearly again. And this patient is a phacic patient uh, in his 50s. He was offered a vitrectomy, did not want to proceed because of the problems of cataract and other possible complications with vitrectomy, which are very, very rare in my hands with laser vitreolysis. In this case, uh, we're speeding it up a little bit for the video. Uh, the Lazog laser has a burst mode of five to nine. We're using a five shot burst here with a power of about five millijoules per burst. You can see here, we're gradually cutting away the thickened hyaloid membrane from the Weiss ring type opacity, creating a window. Uh, this is a little more difficult than most ophthalmologists would think. Uh, it does take up to four sessions minimally. You know it did in this particular case, but the average case that I've done takes uh, two to four sessions. Any ophthalmologist who says uh, this can be easily done in one session really doesn't have a good handle on it. And there's a lot of colleagues out there who are a bit inexperienced because there are no good training uh, facilities available for this. I went to Switzerland, uh, learned the technique there on diabetic membranes and brought it back to the United States. And we were the first facility to start doing this on a continuous clinical basis. We're continuing to cut the vitreous membrane here. Uh, it does take quite a bit of time to do this. And the goal is to, again, create a nice window and ultimately clean up all the debris. Uh, there will be a lot of debris from a case like this, and this is the main reason you have to go back and do at least four laser sessions. There's a limit to the amount of energy you want to put in for safety purposes. Uh, there are complications from too much energy in one session. Uh, that's something that we teach our students uh, who come to us to learn the technique. This is Dr. Scott Geller signing off. We'll have more videos for you shortly. Thank you for listening.